Hello, thank you for joining this presentation on the emergence of sustainability as a professional field, an anthropological analysis. The presentation analyzes how the concept of sustainability is constructed through the activities of a multidisciplinary community of experts. Central to this analysis are two questions, whether sustainability is an emerging discipline into itself and how sustainability operates as a conceptual lens in urban environments. To learn firsthand about how these issues are being addressed among those who participate in the decision-making process of sustainability implementation, an ethnographic exploration was conducted in the case of the 7th Land Conference Transforming the Metropolis, Creating Sustainable and Humane Cities, held at Rice University on March 2009. Sustainability is particularly relevant when applied to the urban environment. A very important part of the world's pollution comes from the urbanization process. Specifically, about a third of the world's greenhouse gas emissions and energy usage are a direct result of the operation of buildings. More than half of the world's population now lives in urban areas. The efforts to solve the sustainability dilemma seem to also be redefining the professions, the disciplines and the relationships among them through the establishing of bridges and common discourses. It is on this phenomenon where I concentrate when talking with the DeLan Conference organizers. I focus on trying to learn how the concept of sustainability is understood from the expert's point of view. I would like to especially thank the support of the organizers and speakers during the conference that made this ethnographic research possible. Some background would be helpful here. The United Nations Brunswick Commission in 1987 defined sustainability as meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. If we reflect on this definition, ecology is an important part of the origin of sustainability. One definition of ecology is the balanced or harmonious relationship of living things to the environment. In this way, ecology is closely related to the goals of sustainability. However, there is an important difference. In the case of sustainability, there is a combination of environmental interests with economics. Additionally, ecology shares with sustainability its relational nature. In this way, it is interesting to find how sustainability seems to be constituted by considerations regarding environmental priorities, economic decisions, and social equality. The context of globalization and neoliberalism frame the emergence of sustainability. At a global level, sustainability seems to be the evolution of ecology on one hand and on the other the neoliberal expression of earlier environmentalist movements. Rather than a confrontation between market and environmental reasons, a special combination takes place blending economically oriented profit-making interests with environmental and social concerns incorporating them in daily practices. I would like to talk briefly about the 7th Deline Conference. People from several departments and areas of expertise collaborated to organize the 7th Deline Conference. People from the social sciences, architecture and engineering worked together. The mix of departments involved in the organization of the conference shows how the sustainability of urban settings is interesting to a broad range of disciplines. The method followed is mostly ethnographic. During this presentation, I will only focus on the concept of sustainability as expressed by the interviewees in connection to their ideologies regarding the role of government, capitalism, and neoliberalism, as well as their beliefs about power and their ethical convictions. Regarding the concept of sustainability, it was possible to appreciate how diverse it is among informants. There is no consensus about its meaning, and the informants seem to believe that there is a shared understanding about it. In some instances, sustainability is considered as a meta-discipline, as Dr. Alvarez, a professor at the Department of Mechanical Engineering, expressed, quote, Sustainability has to be a meta-level, a meta-discipline that belongs really to the social sciences, the economic sciences, the engineering, end of quote, while at the same time recognizing the ethical dimension of the concept. Quote, sustainability should be a philosophy, act as a guiding principle, I think about it as a compass, end of quote. For Dr. Alvarez, sustainability is a normative orientation rather than a discipline. In contrasting way, Professor Hyde, a professor at the School of Architecture, considers that sustainability, quote, is a strategy to legitimate political agendas that do not relate to sustainability, end of quote. While Dr. Ward, a professor at the Chemical Engineering Department, considers that sustainability, quote, is a buzzword, as ecology used to be in the 70s. Actually, these concepts are the same, and that means that there are cycles, end of quote. 
there is not a consensus on what sustainability stands for. Sustainability is defined by these experts in various ways. Dr. Sender, a Swiss researcher who created the Dow Sustainability Index, expresses that, quote, sustainability is the economic, ecological, social aspect, but also, in my eyes, it means satisfying the basic needs of the people, end of quote. In this statement, Dr. Sender recognizes the importance of the economic matters to the individual and even to peaceful stability. For Dr. Alvarez, the need to recognize the importance of economics is a must, just as the environmental and the social considerations. Quote, think about sustainability as a three-legged stool, okay? It has to be harmless to the environment, benign if possible. It has to be socially desirable, unacceptable, and, and make sense, and fair, socially and generationally and economically feasible. If you are not going to make money and be self-sustainable from an economic point of view, this is not going to fly." End of quote. In what seems to be a neoliberal conception, profit orientation appears to be commensurable with people and planet, whereas in other philosophical traditions this would be seen as antithetical. Professor Hyde perceives sustainability as several things. On one hand, he considers, quote, sustainability has now become a building criterion like the fire code, one of the things that we just accommodate, we just do it. I think there is another response to sustainability, and I need to say this, it's not ju just in architecture, it's not just something that you need to do, it becomes the value, right? I think that there is, within architecture, an interest in the economy. Sustainability is now the value. Profe end of quote. Professor Hyde is aware of the impact that standards have on sustainability goals, as well as of the discourses expressed by society through the built environment pointing to the political implications of both. Professor Johnson, the director of campus sustainability, understands the juxtaposition between the isolated nature of traditional disciplines and the interdisciplinary characteristic of sustainability problems. Quote, I think it is fair to say that in this century knowledge is being created not so much in the silos of each discipline, but in the connections between them. And universities are not really set up well to handle the connections between disciplines. Sustainability and cities are both interdisciplinary topics. There is not an engineering solution. There is not an architectural solution. There is not a sociological solution. There are solutions that involve all these. End of quote. This vision points to the need of establishing better channels of collaboration between professor. professions. Dr. Duenas Osorio, a professor at the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department, expresses his thoughts in this regard. Quote, I don't think sustainability is a different standalone discipline. Even the people that pursue it, they still have a strong tie with a more, let's say, traditional discipline. End of quote. He added, quote, I don't think there exists now a core that is just sustainability, end of quote. And those interested in it have various backgrounds but share goals, at least in principle. Dr. Ward considers that sustainability might be considered a field of practice. Quote, I don't know that discipline is the right word. Field of practice, maybe? End of quote. And after having listened to this group of experts, there seems to be a consensus on the interdisciplinary connections around the field of practice of sustainability and the importance of the markers. To conclude, I would like to say that lasting and meaningful transformations must be started from within and not as a result of external forces. Today, we might be facing this transformation as expressed in the emergence of sustainability as a field of practice. Still, sustainability is in the process of becoming. It cannot be identified as an established profession. It has some elements of a philosophy, but it is not a strictly one. And it is more likely to be recognized as a field of practice where many disciplines meet but do not necessarily agree. Experts in the field of sustainability are struggling to spread the word of sustainability, of the urgency to act beyond the silos of each discipline and recognize the importance of taking collaborative action today. Informants have shared their views and experiences deeply embedded in the market logic and have used it to advance the goals of sustainability altruistically. Neoliberalism has transformed the value and meaning of sustainability. Rather than an acceptance of the ethical position implied by the concept, it has become a legitimate part of management goals by transforming it into a business opportunity. Thank you very much for your attention.